So to start off, after losing to Northeastern at the end of last semester, how did it feel to come back and get the win today? Oh, I thought it was great. You know, the, the last couple of games we've uh, had the good fortune of scoring six goals and, and maybe, you know, inched away as the game went along. So there wasn't as much pressure. But today, you know, we had to get two late goals, one to tie it and one to win. We had to kill off a, you know, a couple of penalties in there. And uh, that shows me a little character, a little bit of heart. Uh, I didn't think we came out and played very well in the first period. And uh, uh, only for a couple of power plays that allowed us to get six, eight shots. It looked like a close period, but to me it wasn't. You know, we were uh, kind of cruising around out there, skating around without much structure. And uh, Northeastern is a, a real good hockey team. They're as quick as anybody we play, and uh, uh, you know, we didn't we didn't make them work very hard. And uh, they could have taken the game right there, but to come back at the end, show some character, and uh, you know, it's important as we move forward. You know, getting into the big games and, uh, and trying to get on a roll, which, you know, today uh, keeps you on that roll. How important was the uh, quick answer to the second goal? Well, uh, obviously very, very important, you know. Uh, I, I think one of the things that's gotten in our way, I, I talked about us playing 60 minutes, and the other thing was being able to shut off a run. We, we haven't done a very good job there. You know, we've turned some one nothing games into a 3-1 deficit. And, uh, you know, because we can't stop it after one goal. I think last year we were real good at that, and then we go find a second or third one and, and take the game over. But this year it's been more of a fight. And uh, so the answer, get back to, you know, 2-2, two, two, um, you know, then, then they have a chance to just get, you know, a, a scrambly one by the net with three, four, five whacks at it. It's, it's nice to see that one go in, because maybe uh, other parts of the year this year that one, uh, you know, got stuck under the goalie's pad or glove or arm or something like that. How much emphasis did you put on just throwing the puck at the goal? There were a couple of goals that uh, you guys scored this afternoon that were just a matter of just throwing the puck at the net and then scrambling in front of the goal and putting it in. I, I mean, we always talk about that, and I probably was talking about it more later in the game, uh, particularly from some funny angles. You know, that, that goaltender is, Lawrence is an unbelievable goalie. She's got a 950 save percentage, which at this time of year is a little bit bizarre, but that's just how good she is. And uh, I like to think we've got some people who can shoot the puck and score goals on this team, but uh, she, she makes some people look pretty average sometimes. And so uh, I think when you throw it at, at weird angles, it's, uh, it adds to the confusion. It adds to the chance of a, of a deflection. And, uh, you know, it, it almost puts the defense at a little bit of a, a funny situation sometimes because if they're covering the people in the slot or in the great A areas, they can poke it away. They can get on their sticks. And uh, the funny angle ones are the ones you get a chance to throw at the net maybe make a mess of it. Um, how important was Karen Sperry's role on the team today? Uh, it's always important. I mean, she, she competes and fights, and even in the end, you know, they got a shot that it was a, a little bit of a scream, but it was more of a, you know, kind of a funny knuckleball, and never did she stop fighting or reaching back or trying to keep that thing out of the net because, uh, you know, again, they were within inches of tying it, and, uh, and not because we made a, any crazy mistakes. It just, you know, they got the puck up over the red line, threw it at the net, and things bouncing around left, right, and all over the place. Halfway through the second period, you have that shot that goes under review, winds up not being a goal. What was your thought process during that time? Um, we thought we saw the puck go in, and uh, I think there might have been a uh, there may have been a review that wasn't what we were looking at. The play went for three minutes, and I think the review was something uh, within the last 30 seconds before the timeout. Uh, I think the review we wanted was about two to three minutes before that. Um, what do you think about your team's uh, converting on the scoring chances today? I mean, it seemed like you had a lot of scoring chances. Uh, was that mostly shelling, or did you just not get it, the bounces you wanted? Uh, I'd probably answer it by saying better late than never. You know, we got two pretty late there, and uh, it was nice to see him go in. You know, probably if you ask uh, Florence, she might have liked to have that second one back. You know, that's one that just broke off her glove. I don't think she's, you know, get the first two, she kind of made the first save and Jill Cardall knocked the first one in and then the second one there was a bunch of people there and she made a couple of stops but uh, sometimes you have to have a little bit of luck, you know, on the bounce here or there and, uh, uh, you know, again, she's still going to have a fantastic goals against a fantastic uh, save percentage and, uh, you know, we snuck out with a win but uh, it's it's always a tough order with a kid like her and a quick team they have, uh, you know, that Dave Flint's done an unbelievable job there and they got a bunch of real good hockey player, so nice to get out of here with a win. Um, can you talk about the play of Jen Wakefield uh, this afternoon? She uh, she seemed to be all around the net, especially in the third period with the two points. Yeah, and again, you, you hope big players can answer the bell. They can uh, they can come up with big goals. And part of the reason, they're going to be on the ice a lot down the stretch. You know, you, you shorten it up to kind of two, two and a half lines in the end. And, uh, uh, you know, it's 
great to see her get one. And it, and it doesn't have to be the big slap shot or the great wrist shot at the top corner. It's just one of those ones at the net where everybody's fighting and, you know, she gets a chance to knock one in. So uh, we, like everybody else, rely on, the, you know, some some uh, different people scoring. But your, your big people are going to be out there a lot at that time of the game. So uh, great to see her get one. Um, how did playing for the, or the fundraiser for the skating for strides, how did that change the mentality of the team today? Uh, pink jerseys, you know, pink socks. Uh, <laughs> so so right off the bat, it, it certainly changes things uh, to everybody's eye. But, uh, you know, I, I think our kids see it as another hockey game. The, 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 the skating strides, I think the biggest thing there is that we, uh, we try to raise money, and the league has done a fantastic job. I think it's, you know, the last number of years, it's been somewhere neighbor of $30,000. You know, tonight at the men's game, the, the ladies will be there kind of doing our pink pucks. Uh, we maybe stole that idea from UConn who did the pink skates, but, you know, you, you give a dollar and your name goes up and it'll be in Walter Brown Arena probably the next uh, three weeks, you know, for the end of the regular season. And uh, uh, it, it's just our way of giving back. And uh, I, I can't say enough how much the, uh, the ladies on this program and throughout the athletic department give. I, I don't think people have any idea the number of hours uh, the number of times they're called on, it's not once, it's not twice, it's not four times, you know, it's, it's, it's probably close to ten times a year where they're called on for community service, you know, fundraising, clinics, uh, the, the big cancer walk that's done at the beginning of the year, you know, the last two years we played, to, or two of the last three years we played two games, a Friday, Saturday game, and Sunday at 6 a.m., you know, they along with probably a hundred other athletes are out at the, on the Esplanade, so it, it, it's uh, fantastic, and, uh, Great reflection on Boston University and our program. Can you talk about Marie uh, Philip Poland's toughness playing, uh, despite the fact that she's probably not, uh, that she wasn't one hundred percent this week? Sure. Uh, I think I mentioned it Wednesday that uh, she's one of the toughest kids we have. You know, she's not going to back down from anything. But uh, when you have three serious injuries like she's had in the last ten or eleven months. There was a time probably early this week when uh, uh, she was apprehensive. I think mentally apprehensive, uh, not physically. And uh, my training staff, I believe, reassured her that it will be painful, but it it's not going to get re-injured. And uh, you know, I, I think she sort of got a little bit of a, a positive mental vibe there. Uh, got bumped in the last practice before we played Boston College, and uh, I think got bumped in that game once or twice, and and, and really got reassurance that okay, everything's holding itself in place. The shoulder's good, and. Uh, She's actually each day was able to put some more mustard on her shot. You know, she got a nice wrist shot that she scored against uh, BC, and, and tonight had it, let a few shots go. And uh, uh, you know, not for us hitting our own shin pad. I think she might have had another goal tonight on a one timer in the slot, but I think it hit one of our players in front and uh, didn't go in. But uh, she's a she's a catalyst for us. She brings great uh, you know excitement to our bench, and, and, and certainly puts a little bit of fear I think in the other team, or certainly make sure there's one other player they've got to monitor pretty closely. Now you're on a little bit of a win streak now since uh, Poulin's been back. Um, you're going towards the end of the season. How important is it for you to get hot right now? I mean, I think it's real important. The New York Giants look like they're in a pretty good place, and maybe we can be there in a couple, three weeks, you know, or uh, we're, we're getting on some type of roll, and it doesn't mean we have to win every game, but, it, you know, if you go seven or eight and one in the last nine, you're going in with a pretty good frame of mind. You're going in there with... Uh, you know, people in place, and we, we know about, you know, uh, Pooh and, and Janelle, but, you know, Tara Watcher, I think, has missed 10 or 11 games, too, and she's a, a, you know, highly important piece of the puzzle, you know, a big person on the power play, you know, individual, one person breakout, she kills penalties and, and plays against the top kids, you know, so uh, uh, it's important to have everybody on, on deck, and uh, I feel like we've got just about everybody there right now, and, and, and you know, you get a little bit uh, positive from the neck up, it goes a long ways.